What up, folks? I am Ultrazilla, and this is my review of the Disney Store DuckTales figurine pack. All right, my zillions, we've got another quick review uh, to end off the week. Another Ultrazilla Jr. Uh, review, uh, his toys, I should say. Um, uh, I picked up this set for him last weekend at the Disney Store. They were on sale, 10 bucks for all of these figurine packs. If you've never seen them at the Disney Store, there's so many different ones. For, uh, and my nephew, uh, uh, my brother-in-law picked up my nephew two sets of the Marvel ones. And I picked up for uh, Ultrazilla Jr.'s Visiting Cousins, um, the Big Hero 6 pack, and the Sleeping Beauty pack. So Ultrazilla Jr. wanted the DuckTales ones, which is cool because I love DuckTales as well. Um, and something I could review here. And actually quite nice, especially for 10 bucks. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to bring in some characters. We're going to really do the, you know, fast style, quick style. There's no reason to go super crazy with this. Just bringing in some small characters that you might have around. You know, um, multiple Pikachus. <laughs> and you know what? There you go. Uh, oh, wait, here's another, here's another character for the super robots clans here. So, there you go. Lots of characters here, different lines, uh, domestic and import, uh, mostly import stuff. Uh, so, you can basically see the size of these, and we'll just take them away. No need for crazy cuts here. This is cool. Ten bucks. Uh, I don't know how much they are normally. I've never really looked at these. Um, even Ultrazilla Jr. is not a, the biggest fan of, you know, no articulation figures. These are figurines. Um, but when they look cool, they look cool. And this looks cool. This is Webby. A uh, new character for the new series, which is fantastic. The new series is so good. They all come on these gold bases, as last time I'll say it. Um, you know, nice little plastic base. Uh, the characters are all a little rubbery. They remind me kind of like like Smurf quality uh, in a way, maybe not that rubbery, but that's the kind of feel that I get. Sculpt is pretty good, looks like Webby. Paint is pretty decent, she has a little excess black on her bill there, uh, but the mouth looks good otherwise. The eyes are painted well, her little bow is painted nicely. Friends, thank you for being a friend. Um, so, hairstyle's done well. Got a little tail there, a little skirt, done in purple, a little pink at the edges, her shirt underneath her vest. It's all done all right, you know. Is it perfect? No, there's a little excess white there, but it's good enough, you know. It looks pretty nice, I gotta say. Uh, Huey, Dewey, Louie. <laughs> Louis, uh, in green, he's got his uh, iPhone or iPad. I, I think it's an iPhone. Looks small. Done in a different shade of green than his shirt, which is good. His uh, sweater, hooded sweater. Sculpt is nice. I like the look on his face. The eyes are painted well. The mouth is painted well here. Sculpt is pretty cool. I like his hair. So that one's pretty nice. You know, there's a little mess-ups on his hand, but eh, it's so... You know, uh, uh, you know, like, hard to, like, say anything bad about these, especially for the price. They get seven pieces here. Uh, Huey Dewey. <laughs> I don't know why I don't remember these things. In a punching, uh, you know, pose. I like that. That's pretty cool. Shirt looks awesome. Shirt underneath the shirt looks awesome. Look on his face is great. Really dig that. The mouth looks cool. The eyes look nice. Hair is good. Really cool sculpts of these. I definitely like them. Very nice there. And the studious Huey here. He's got his book. Which, you know, the paint is matte on it. Uh, but the, the head sculpt is pretty good. His hat looks cool. So a little mess up on the shirt there. On the arm. Bleeding down, but... Again, meh. <laughs> Overall, I, I'm just showing you guys because maybe you guys have never paid attention to these. And if you do want any representation, we didn't get any of the actual toys from this show. Uh, I did opt to buy the, the Funko Disney Afternoon stuff, which I don't know where any of that stuff is. It must be with Ultra Zilla Jr. because it's not 
on the shelf or in a box somewhere. Things happen. Things go from my studio to the apartment, and then they come back in a box, and they, like, kind of stay in a box. Yeah. Donald. I like Donald. I like Donald in the series. His mouth is uh, not painted the best. The eyes look good. His tassel here on his hat looks okay. Could have been painted a little bit better. Mouth on this side looks better. His shirt, you know, has some little mess ups on there. Uh, this is really out of the, just out of the box, and you know, there hasn't been much play with these guys. So, sure looks okay. I like his his pose. Donald's always annoyed, isn't he? Uh, um, he looks all right. Scrooge McDuck, looking pretty dapper here in his uh, suit coat. Pretty cool. Belt looks good. Pose is nice. He's got his cane. His feet look pretty decent. You know, there's a little over paint there. And up here, head sculpt looks pretty good. I am impressed with the glasses. They are actual see-through glasses. Nice translucent plastic there, so that's pretty cool. Even with a little, you know, hole in the middle, you can see it there. Eyes are done okay, not bad. The bill is okay, the mouth is painted well inside. His hat looks eh. <laughs> it's alright, it's, it's a little messy, but it's okay. If you wanted to get these and, you know, touch them up, you can do so. Especially if you get them for this price, that's pretty cheap. And Launchpad, who's awesome. He's always awesome. Love Launchpad McQuack. Uh, I like this version, too. I, I think it's pretty cool. I like his uh, shirt and his tie. Very sharp. His jacket is looking pretty good. He's uh, hitching a ride or saying, let's get into the, the plane. I forgot the plane's name, but let's get into it. Um, the mouth looks pretty decent. The eyes are okay. I like his little tuft of hair here. His hat looks cool. Pants aren't bad at all. And there you go. There's Launchpad McQuack. So, overall, final thoughts are pretty good. I, you know, there are some paint mess ups, but I mean, I feel like that's, you know, part and parcel with these little things. You know, like from what I saw, uh, the, the Big Hero 6 set looked pretty decent. Um, but the Marvel sets, the two Marvel sets, and I can't remember exactly which ones they were. I think one was Captain Marvel and one was Avengers Endgame. Um, they didn't look so hot, um, sculpt all paint-wise, but these at least have definitely awesome sculpts. I really dig all of them throughout, so, uh, definitely awesome sculpts. Paint is hit and miss, but it's mostly hit. And there you go. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. If you got any of these figurines, you know, feel free to chime in on what you think of them. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Buy me a coffee on coffee if you dig what I do. Become a zillion today. Till next time, peace out, peeps.